Thanks, Alan. Our second story is The Box of Skin by Peter Adams. Peter is the owner of the Stroud Natural Health Clinic and writes poetry and fiction as well as books on homeopathy. He is poet in residence at the Celebration of Life, a monthly spiritual gathering in Stroud, and is returning to Stroud short stories following what he calls a period of retirement. Peter says he lives in Edge and on the Edge, but Stroud is the safe centre of his life. Please welcome to read The Box of Skin, Peter Adams. Before my memories began, or perhaps on the day they began, a procession came to our house from the village. At the head was the doctor carrying his black bag, then the vicar, and behind him a school teacher, the man who worked in London, a visiting dentist who came one afternoon a week, a church warden, the shopkeeper, the postmaster, and a few others. They all wore black suits and black trilby hats and black ties. Anyone in the village was welcome to join the procession, but most did not. Perhaps they did not have suitable black suits. They walked all the way in single file and solemn silence. Their black shoes had metal caps on their heels and these clattered like hail on the road. Occasionally, a car passed, the faint roar going louder, then fading again into the distance. The silence, except for the clattering, always returned. The green fields were empty of cows and sheep that day. When they got to my house, my parents let the doctor into the sitting room, and I was brought in on a tray. He had opened his bag on the table and was quietly and methodically laying out instruments and cotton wool. The window was open wide. The procession was arranged outside in rows so that everyone could see in. Suddenly, there was a great pain down in my body. There was a scream. It must have been me. There was a flurry of activity and things were quickly put away. The doctor and the procession were there no longer, but the great big pain took a long time to go. When I got up the next day, there was something new on the mantelpiece, a brown wooden box. It stayed there on the mantelpiece without ever being moved, opened or mentioned for a long, sorry, where am I? Uh, for 11 years. When I arrived at boarding school, I had a new trunk full of new clothes. I watched as everything disappeared into linen rooms and other places I could not go. Finally, at the bottom of the trunk was a wooden box. Oh, that must be mine, I thought. I reached out to put my hand to, reached out my hand to take it, but Matron took it and gave it to the housemaster. He put it in a cupboard. Before we closed the door, I glimpsed other wooden boxes there, side by side. The years went by, and I did not speak. I realised I was done. When I left school, seven years later, I was given that box. I always kept it in the back of a cupboard, and mostly I forgot about it. But the box came into my thoughts sometimes, and late one night, when everyone was asleep, I took it out and opened it and slammed it shut. Inside was my tongue. Still my thoughts returned to that box from time to time. Last week I took it out again and opened it again and inside was a pen. 
I took out the pen and with it I wrote this story. <laughs>